Hey guys, we are going into now taking our solutions um, or um, taking the solutions we get from our graphs and checking to make sure that they are correct and that we did things right and hopefully finding more with synthetic division, okay? With the idea that this synthetic division that we talked about a while ago is actually gonna be a great tool for us. So if you need to brush up on it, by all means, um, do that because what you're going to start to see or what we're gonna to start to work with is the idea that the number of real roots is equal to the degree of the polynomial. So for example, if you've got a polynomial that's x to the fourth, that means that polynomial should have four solutions, okay? And same thing if you had x to the second, like a quadratic, you would have two solutions, okay? And we know something is a solution, or we can find these solutions. Let me back up. We can find these solutions a couple different ways. The first way we can do it is we can factor. Now, factoring is great and fun, and I really like it. But as our polynomials get bigger and bigger, it gets harder and harder to do. So we're actually going to not worry about factoring. Instead, we are going to do most of our work well, we aren't even going to do the work. We're going to make Desmos do the work. And we are going to check and get answers with graphing. Okay? What we'll do is we'll check those solutions using synthetic division. Okay? With the idea that, oops, the idea that our remainder should always be zero. Okay? So we're going to look at two examples real quick. Um, and remember, if you are kind of feeling fuzzy on what synthetic division is, please go back and review um, that video. Two quick examples for you. So you've actually seen both of these before. We did them when we did reading graphs. But from Desmos, we know that the following things are solutions. We know it's negative 2. we know zero, and we know positive two. Technically, if you graph this, you might have been like, hey, Visto, back, back things up for a second. Our um, negative two has a multiplicity of two, and that's wonderful, and that will come in handy later. But for right now, I'm just going to, we're just going to look at one solution anyway, so I'm not super worried about it. We're going to check to see if one of these solutions really is a solution. So the first one I'm going to check is I'm just going to check negative 2. So I'm going to reuse negative 2 from the list. And I am going to build some synthetic division around it. Okay? So remember we need the box. We need the line to tell us where the bottom is. And we need kind of our home row of numbers. And the home row of numbers comes from the polynomials we have. So even over here, these are those same ones over here. We just read the coefficients. 1 from x to the 4th, 2 from x to the 3rd, negative 4, negative 8. Okay? And then if you remember synthetic division, hopefully what's coming to your brain right now is box times bottom, bring it up. Although technically, let's do the first step. Bring down a 1 and then box times bottom, bring it up, add going down, box, times bottom, bring it up, add going down, box, times bottom, bring it up, add going down. And this is fabulous, fabulous news. We got a zero, which means it's a solution. Which is great. Okay. Um, if we repeat this process, look at a second example. We find out that for this second polynomial, Desmos... gives us three answers. 
which makes sense because this is a degree three polynomial. Negative three. Whoa, that was crazy. Let's clean this up for a second. Got some psycho math going on here. Okay, so regrouping, trying that again. Negative three. We've got zero. And we've got one half. Um, you know, I'm feeling fancy. Let's check one half. We haven't seen too many fractions, so let's check and see if one half makes sense. Okay, so we've got our number. We're going to build the frame around it. And then we need our kind of home row of numbers up top. So 2, 5, negative 3. Okay. And now here we go. Bring down the first number, 2. Box times bottom, 1 half times 2, bring it up, is 1. Add going down is 6. Box times bottom, bring it up. Add going down is 0. And just like the problem we just did, we have great news that 0 tells us we have a solution. Okay, so we are going to practice this by finding solutions on graphs, reading those graphs to get the specific numbers, and then putting it into synthetic division to make sure it is a solution the way we want. Thanks, all.